Hey, what's up guys? We're gonna talk about 412 roofing today. This is one of our clients that we work with and we're gonna show what kind of calls they're getting, how many jobs they're doing, the kind of revenue they're making in their company. And also we're gonna get into the nitty gritty of how we are getting them these calls. Let's get into it. Very first thing is when we take a step back, we can find out exactly how many people on average are looking for a roofer, well, you know, day to day, week to week in the areas that you're serving. So in this case, when I do roofing Baltimore, you can see that there's 1,600 people um, every single month on average that are going on their phone and typing in roofing Baltimore uh, in a consistent basis. When I go and search this term right now on Google directly, you can see that there's a people who are running advertising at the very top. But if you go down, you can see that our client here, 412 Roofing, is one of the top three companies for that ranking organically without having to pay for ads. And on top of that, they're also number one organically under the maps, right? This is um, this is where you're actually competing with some of the big boys like Yelp, Home Advisor, Angie, and they're actually number one for that term as well. With this visibility, there's a good amount of people every single month that are actually going through and calling them. If I go in the back end analytics, this is directly from Google, uh, you know, business.google.com. This is where this analytics is from. I have 412 roofings um, um, listing here pulled up. For example, if I go here, you can see directly click performance and I'm going to check out December last month. Basically, you see that they got 538 people that actually took an action with their profile. But if I go down, we can see that what the homeowners actually typed in before they came and give us a call. Right. So a lot of them typed in like roof repair, Baltimore, roofers, Baltimore. Many of them is actually looking for the company directly. Many people search in roofing Baltimore. Look at the idea. These are all relevant terms from homeowners who are looking for roofers. Uh, having that said, the action that we care about the most is phone calls. So going into phone calls right now, you can see that in the last 30 days in in December, month of December, even though it's not a great time for them uh, in the year, they still got almost 200 phone calls you know, in this month. So these are very high quality people coming inbound, although not all of them are going to be 100% you know, qualified because there's some marketer spam and stuff. A vast majority of the calls that we get from Google directly in this manner are good qualified calls. I'm going to take you to the next part, which is how many people are coming to their business overall. So if I go into their SEMrush, this is again, a third party tool that anybody can use to see how many people are coming to your business on a monthly basis. It does a lot more than that. But for this case, we're looking at that in the last month in December, they got 1,473 people that came to their business. And just so you're aware, um, again, this is not even their main months. In their main months, they actually crossed over 2,000 people that came and checked them out. The value in this is a lot for a roofing company. Um, you know, over a thousand people that comes uh, that are looking for roofing and related services, visiting your site organically every month is, is tremendous. And if, if you wanted to quantify it in an easy way, SEMrush actually looks at what would it cost us in advertising if we were to uh, go for the same kind of traffic and want to do it by ads? So the keywords that we're ranking for right now for all these terms, it, there's a price for it. Uh, in fact, if you go in the keyword planner, you can see how much other roofers are paying per click uh, on a given basis. A lot of people are paying over $100 per click for these homeowners to come to them, which is very expensive. And if we were to add up all the keywords we're ranking for organically, it would come up to around $45,000 that you'd have to spend every single month if you were to get the same kind of traffic just by running ads. And I can tell you for sure, their cost right now is a fraction, a small fraction of this fee to get this kind of visibility. Next, we're gonna get into what we call is the actual work, right? Nowadays, in any competitive market, nobody's at the top because they have a website. Nobody's at the top because they did a few posts on their listing or their or their or their content or a blog. You need to have the basics already down. But once you have the basics, you might be wondering what is the things that Google are looking at that actually lets them put a company at the very top versus all the other companies that are doing seemingly the right stuff, right? There's a lot of people underneath. If you check, they have maybe way more reviews than the people here, but they're not showing up at the top. Or maybe they're doing a lot of content on social media, but they're nowhere to be found on Google. What that brings us to is backlinks. This is the number one weighted thing currently that's working. 
Meaning Google at the current uh, state, they don't care as much what we are saying we are. What they really care about is what other people are saying about us. Other magazines, newspapers, websites, press releases. As long as they're either relevant geographically, meaning they're a big entity authoritative in the area we're you know, serving, or they're relevant nationally, right? Um, but they're relevant to the industry. I'll give you an example. If I go into Ahrefs, this is a tool that we use to find out, you know, what links that a company has and where they're showing up, etc. So if I go in 412 Roofing's backlink profile right now, I'm going to be able to show you some examples. They have a lot of sites that are, you know, actually in the roofing industry that's mentioning them. You can see roofrepair.com is directly in the domain. And then there's here an example of a geographically relevant site, Baltimore Fishbowl. So I'll, I'll use this as an opportunity to paint the picture. So you, it, it really drives home what we're talking about here. If I go into this link, you can see Baltimore Fishbowl. Um, they did a whole article about us, need a summer job, apply for 412's youth enterprise program. It doesn't have to be about that they're recommending your roofing services. That's like the people who are reading. In terms of Google is a concern, they just care that they talked about you, right? In Google's eyes, uh, there's no bad publicity in that extent. It's just it's an authoritative figure mentioned you. Now, you can see that this is linking to our site, which is what Google read and recognized it and then gave us that vote, so to speak. And, and you know, we got that boost in our SEO uh, rankings. And if you're wondering, how would I know which site is good or bad to get listed on? That's basically, you can just go to any tool like SEMrush or Ahrefs. Uh, analysis can get a little bit tedious, but just on the forefront, one rule of thumb to use is if they're getting a lot of people that care about the product, right? Baltimore Fishbowl has over 23,000 people every single month that are going to them that, um, you know, get benefit. Basically, they have readership. They have an actual business behind that entire entity. And that's what really matters. If it's a real entity out there and, you know, a lot of people are using it and, you know, reading their article or whatever it is, whatever their business is, they're using the product on an ongoing basis. It's naturally going to have word of mouth and people coming to their business. As long as they have that kind of ecosystem that's healthy with real readership and everything like that, Google can track all of those metrics. And then they know that, okay, this is not a fake site out there that, you know, you just generate with the software or something and then just gave you a link. That's gonna actually hurt your site. In this case, they're gonna be able to analyze that this is actually a good site and pass on that relevancy. So hope that makes sense. And if you go through our uh, link profile, you'll see there's tons and tons of these kind of places. And I've actually picked out a few. You can see, you know, homeblue.com, uh, Taylor TX Roof Repair, formerly Land Lovers. You can see they're all relevant to home improvement construction or in Baltimore and Maryland as a geographic relevancy. And this is one of the main reasons, right? So over half the battle, how we have basically able to structure a campaign and get 412 to a position where now they're one of the leaders in Baltimore City. But we were able to play a part in their SEO campaign to be able to generate a lot of the calls that are coming inbound from people who are looking for roofers. And uh, it played a significant role in their marketing, uh, especially in the earlier stages of the campaign from zero to $10 million. So hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, you can put your uh, questions below in the comments and I'll get to them personally. And I'll see you guys next time.